Hello guys, it's me, your boy, Lord Triton, and today we get to talk about our good old friend, the Act Man. Now, we haven't talked about the Act Man in over a year because this dude's obviously, you know, become irrelevant because he's still trying to go after Quantum TV, trying to cancel Quantum TV, even though he got a big L from Quantum because he got exposed as just as bad as Quantum. Like, this is the guy who tried to flag Tommy C and also tried to go after smaller creators like myself, Mr. Sen, and all these other people. Basically, whining and bitching like Quantum does. He's basically Quantum 2.0. Like, him and Quantum TV should just, you know, make out already because they're literally the same creators. But, we'll be talking about the Act Man because the Act Man is also doing what Quantum does and is trying to cancel a creator. I show speed of a joke. That's the thing. I don't like I show speed at all. I think, you know, he's a guy that will do anything for clout. You know, like, he literally burnt down almost burned down his house on 4th of July for fucking clout. So I am not an I Show Speed fan. But, I feel like in this situation, the Ant-Man, the Act-Man, is trying to wrongfully cancel I Show Speed over a joke. Because that's the thing, the Act-Man was saying that I Show Speed, the Act-Man is trying to say that I Show Speed it, uh, made a rape threat. And I'm going to play the clip and you guys can judge with me if this is a rape threat or not. Say if we're the last two people on Earth and we had to reproduce to make the world continue, would you uh, reproduce with me? No, because that means our kids will have to intertwine and then their kids, no. Who gonna stop me? That's the clip in question. Now, it's obviously a joke, like the dude's not gonna actually rape the woman. It wasn't even a serious threat. That's the thing, the woman herself didn't even take the threat seriously. But the act man, the hero, the hero of YouTube, is supposed to, uh, is gonna say the following. I feel like making rape threats toward a woman on stream should get you blacklisted from the site. You made those threats, but on Money Talks and Twitch is probably desperate for a big name to sign a contract with. So let me get this straight, right? The same guy who um, is fighting, who is fighting the platform, it still is fighting the platformation against Quantum TV. Is trying to deplatform people still to this day? Isn't that hypocritical? Like, was it you, like, during the Quantum TV saga of its peak of it, fighting for free speech on the platform, but then you're doing shit like this? And that's the thing, too. People digged up jokes that the Act Man has made and are trying to cancel the act man and it's justifiable because this dude is trying to deplatform other people canceling other people this is why you don't cancel people online because people are going to pull up jokes you've said and done and try to cancel you for being the hypocritical piece of shit that you are here are screenshots of the act man joking to somebody about them killing themselves how about you Go back to slitting your wrists, depressed Jeff. Slitting your wrists equal killing yourself because fuck rational thought, logic, and basic comprehension. Like I said, go back to slitting your wrists more reflective than wasting your time on Twitter might make you happier. And then, here is him saying the F slur. Now that's the thing. Obviously, you know I'm not... I am not pro-cancel culture at all, but I will do it to somebody who does it to others because that's the thing. I call out hypocrisies, and that's the thing. Act Man, if you're going to moral fag on I show speed, making an obvious joke on stream, then we can pull up all your dirt because all those screenshots of you, like all those jokes we pulled up, they're worse than, I sh than what you're trying to cancel I show speed for. You're literally trying to get someone to kill themselves. So that's the thing, you know? When I use your logic, Dak man, you wasn't joking. You were probably you probably was trying to get that person to kill themselves. You probably was. I mean, I mean, hell, you accuse other people of not joking, so we're gonna accuse you of not joking. You wasn't joking when you told that person to slit the wrist. You probably wanted them to switch, slit the wrist, right? Also, when you called that person a faggot, you probably was a joke. You probably are homophobic. See, act man. See how the cancel culture game can work on you? This is why. 
the cancel culture game's not the way. This is why you don't cancel culture more fag on the internet. Especially if you have skeletons in your closet, act man. You, you more fag too much. Like how you more fag about quantum TV. Um, copy stri like striking people. That's the thing, you know. Yeah, that's a big no-no, right? Quantum should not be doing that. That is a big no-no on YouTube. But you do the same thing. You threaten to do it to Tommy C. You are just like Quantum. You and Quantum are the same people. So the fact that you still to this very day are making Quantum TV videos. That just shows for one you're obsessed with Quantum. Because that's the thing. The Quantum TV saga is over. No one else is talking about Quantum besides you at this point. I don't know why you're still talking about Quantum when you got your channel back. Your channel's monetized. Like leave Quantum alone. The Quantum TV. Everyone knows Quantum is a piece of shit. You got the W, even though you tried to flag people too, but you got the W on the quantum. Take your W and shut the fuck up. Like, stop tw talking about quantum. Stop trying to cancel people. That's the thing. You're no better than anybody else online. You are just as bad as quantum. You you are definitely worse than I show speed, because at least I show speed doesn't cancel people like you do. And have skeletons in their closet. That's the thing. I show speed has skeletons in his, clo in his closet too. Don't get me wrong. But he's not going around more fagging like a prick like you are. That's the thing. You're trying to you're trying to um comply to the leftist crowd and trying to get the leftist crowd on your on the on your side. But once they see all this other shit that you said, they're gonna turn on you too. The cancel culture audience is going to turn on you because of stuff you said. I mean hell, they turn on Keffels for saying the word retard. Like, that word is so harmless, but that's the thing. They get so offended over the word retard. Like, literally trying to appeal to the cancel culture audience is not the way, chief. That's the thing, especially when you yourself have made jokes and you hang out with people like Augie RFC and you're friends with all these commentary YouTubers who are um, anti-cancel culture. Like, that's not a good look for you to be... Pro cancel culture act, man. This is literally not a good look at all. And I don't know why, you know, anybody still thinks you're a good person. Because you're not. You're just as bad as quantum. You know, you both are cancel culture dweebs that will do anything in their power to silence criticism. And we've shown that on this channel, how you tried to strike Tommy C for giving you criticism. That's all Tommy C did was give you criticism and you tried to strike him and you tried to flag him down and you said you would copyright strike him. So yeah, act man, you're just as bad as Quantum and you have no right to be canceling anybody on the internet. Especially when you have made jokes in the past too. Worse jokes than I show speed and the other people you try to cancel. Anyways, it's been me, your boy, Lord Chiyan. What do you think? about this video comment down below your thoughts on the video if you hit if you like the video hit the like button if you dislike the video hit the like button anyways because dislike button is gone and fuck the act man